One of the biggest hurdles we have in our healthcare system is making sure patients get timely exams to screen them for disease. And if they have disease, to make sure they're seen by an eye care specialist who's well versed in managing diabetic eye disease. In this country, that's typically retinologists who do this on a routine basis. Multiple studies have shown patients do not get timely screening exams. 50% of them, based on most studies, do not get adequate screening exams by eye care specialists in this country. So there's a tremendous need to make sure they get screened. Primary care doctors are aware of it, but for whatever reason, the system is letting a lot of patients fall through the cracks. Consequently, I think we need to come up with new processes to get these patients screened. And I think something that can be done that I think will increase based on our experience and on studies that have been published is this idea of telemedicine, of screening in the primary care doctor's office with cameras allowing the capture of the image, uh, a retinal image that's then read by a retinologist to determine if this patient needs to be seen by the retinologist in order to manage their diabetic eye disease if they have it. I think some of the barriers of patients getting the recommended screening exams is just the increased cost of seeing another doctor to someone else they have to see when they don't perceive any problem with their vision, so why are they going to go waste their time, miss another day of work, pay another copay? All these are barriers to screening. That's probably the biggest one, in my opinion. One strategy that has great potential is teleretinal imaging. Uh, what happens is a patient will have their uh, image of their retina taken with a non midriatic fundus camera at a primary care physician's office. This is often done at the lab where they're already getting blood work done and they can simply have a picture taken of the back of their eye. This image is then uploaded to a cloud-based platform where a trained reader uh, will interpret the image. This trained reader may be an ophthalmologist or retina specialist. A report is then generated and sent back to the primary care physician as well as the patient. And when there's coordinated care, these patients may be referred uh, directly to an eye specialist. What this does is that it eliminates several of the barriers including lack of transportation, lack of time, as well as uh, lack of cooperation. It can also uh, reduce costs for the patient. Uh, there's no longer a need to uh, make another doctor's appointment. They don't have to take another day off of work. And um, it also uh, helps the caregiver and uh, family members that need to bring them to doctor's appointments. Likewise, it can reduce costs to the healthcare system. Um, a simple image is going to be less costly than uh, having to cover the cost of another doctor's appointment. Furthermore, it can help the ophthalmologist practice patient flow move smoother. If you can eliminate the 50% no-show rate for patients who don't show up for the diabetic eye screening, it can be very helpful. One of the benefits of teleretinal imaging is that it can also identify patients who truly have diabetic retinopathy and cite vision-threatening disease. And think of it this way. If you're a patient who has diabetic retinopathy and something that can affect their vision, and you're told that you need to see a retina specialist or an eye doctor promptly, uh, would you want to make that appointment? I suspect yes. Deep learning algorithms are showing a lot of promise in detecting pathology in, in retinas, uh, and thus far have been shown to be beneficial in detecting uh, MAC degeneration and glaucoma. Uh, for diabetic retinopathy, it's almost there. Uh, one of the most important things is to improve the sensitivity of these diagnostic tests and algorithms uh, in order to aid uh, physicians in detecting these vision problems. There's one home monitoring system that's already FDA approved to detect subtle changes in patients' vision in the field of age-related MAC degeneration. Um, anything that can help a patient detect something while they're not seeing, being seen at a physician's office can be helpful. Again, early detection and prompt treatment can save vision. Some payer organizations are recognizing the benefit of teleretinal imaging and home monitoring systems. Many studies show that early detection of disease can lead to prompt treatment, and these can be vision saving. A lot of these organizations are also recognizing that short-term investment in these can lead to long-term savings down the road. 
hopefully more commercial insurers will come on board.